Welcome to an overview of the Omnitronics ReadyTalk Flex radio management console. This PC-based application runs on Windows 7, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10 and allows the console operator to control up to 12 analog or digital radio talk paths and one SIP-based phone extension. Let's look at the main window layout and the features in ReadyTalk Flex. Up the top here is the header panel. On the left side of this panel is an area to put a customer logo or image. And over on the right is the Omnitronics logo, which can be replaced with some other image if desired. Down here we have the PTT, or the Press to Talk button. So if I press that, it um, allows us to transmit to the talk parts. Next to it is an intercom button, which allows the ReadyTalk Flex operator to broadcast their voice to other ReadyTalk Flex consoles located on the same network. And then down below, the PTT switch is the audio levels window where the operator controls the volume of received audio. One for the selected or foreground talk paths and one for the monitored or background talk paths. Next door is the speaker level showing the level of received audio and then the microphone level showing the level of the operator's voice being transmitted to the talk paths. The mute, unmute button switches the received audio on or off. The Windows Mixer button shows the default Windows Audio Playback device, which ReadyTalk Flex may not actually be using. You can ignore this button. And then down here, the Can Voice window allows you to transmit pre-recorded messages to any talk paths in the selected or foreground state. Clicking on the TX button next to the audio file name will transmit the audio to the selected paths. Clicking on it again will stop the transmission. Arguably, the main window is the workgroup window showing all the configured talk paths and telephone channel if configured. Repeatedly clicking on a channel will cycle it through yellow for selected or foreground mode, blue for monitored or background, and off for off. <clears throat> the button can also show the status conditions of the talk path such as down here. At the bottom of the work group window are some talk path controls. Fast select only allows one talk path to be in the selected or foreground state. If I press a talk path button it goes into the selected state and it will place the previously selected talk path into the monitored state. So if I click on him to be yellow that one goes blue if I click on that one it goes yellow and that one goes to blue the follow active control works in conjunction with the fast select control let's say a talk path is receiving as a call as shown by the flashing green button the call stops and the talk path is automatically put into the selected state while the previously selected talk path is placed into the monitored state. Now with fast select in the off state, some other controls become available. Select all puts all talk paths into the selected state. Monitor all puts them all into the background or monitored state while disconnect all switches them all off. Moving away from the work group window to the contacts window. Now this window lists all the contacts entered into the ReadyTalk Flex console. Clicking on a contact displays the operations available for the contact. So you can see here we can individually call Gary Hughes on a digital radio or if, if he's in a taxi truck we can cell call him on the old analog one or if he's on the phone we can ring him on that extension number. You can also edit a contact by unlocking the contact window and selecting a contact to edit, like so. Let's close that down now. You can also delete a contact while it is unlocked. Messages. The messages window is where any incoming or outgoing messages can be displayed. Any message based activities such as cell call, text, status, emergency, alerts, they all get displayed in this message window. 
Down below here, I have a GPS Essentials window which shows the location of digital radios with GPS capability on a map. Now, GPS Essentials includes geofencing and the ability to show history trails of individual radios. On the left here, the call history window displays a list of incoming and outgoing calls. Associated with each entry, you can have a rapid recall recording of the audio belonging to that call. The audio recorded is what the operator hears and says. I'll just close that. And finally, right along the bottom is the control panel where you will find the setup menu for configuring ReadyTalk Flex. Clicking on this button opens up a new window with all the configuration menus. The Screen Clean button freezes the main window so that you can clean the touchscreen without deactivating any controls. Let's see, we've got our countdown timer here and I'm going to get control back in about another four seconds. So, two, one, and we can keep on going. Next is the Design button where you can customise the Talk Path buttons in the Workgroup window. Items such as colour, sizing and font attributes are included. The Help button displays a window showing the version number of ReadyTalk Flex, the licensed options and licensing tools and it is also where you can access the ReadyTalk Flex user manual by clicking on the user manual button up here. And that will open a, a PDF document. The Minimize button is next and you, you can also normalize, normalize the main window to make it fit into a particular part of your desktop. The Link Groups button allows the user to set up link groups where an incoming call on one talk path can automatically be switched through to other talk paths. So you can set up your link groups and switch them on and off as desired. A little further to the right is the Guard button. Imagine a scenario where the operator has left the ReadyTalk Flex workstation and an incoming call is missed. So you enable the Guard function and an incoming call will make the talk path button flash slowly after the call finishes. And not only that, but an alert can be played through the speakers or headset until the operator comes back and cancels the alert like that. You also have the option of muting the alert sound with the mute alerts button. And last but not least is the exit button and this closes the ReadyTalk Flex application. And if you have any inquiries on the ReadyTalk Flex console or any of the other Omnitronics products, send us an email to sales at omnitronics.com.au. We will be only too happy to answer your questions.